Hey, what is up, guys? In here with you to video, and in this video, we're going to be doing a tech review where I review some tech and we talk about it and I give you the pros and cons about it. So let's go ahead and get in the video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Bluetooth wireless stereo headphones by August. I broke this review down into a variety of categories, including compatibility, comfortability, durability, sound quality, and sound leakage. As you may have already guessed, these headphones are Bluetooth compatible, which means any of your smartphones or any of your devices that have Bluetooth compatibility, then you will be able to connect to them through Bluetooth. They are also NFC ready, um, so you can tap to connect for those of the devices that have that compatibility, along with having a 3.5mm aux cord. Aside from that, they also have an integrated microphone for hands-free calls, along with another cool feature called the multi-point technology, which allows you to connect one device through Bluetooth and then use the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cord to connect to another phone. And you can actually play music from the Bluetooth and music from the aux cord at the same time. So it's kind of a mixer and you can hear both music at the same time. So if you're doing some kind of mix up or a mix or anything like that, this would be pretty sweet just for that. These headphones were actually really comfortable. Um, the earpieces, they were really like cushiony. They're not actually real leather, but they're real plush and soft, and that felt really good on my ears. Um, I was really impressed with the quality of how they felt on my ears. And whenever they were on my head, it wasn't too heavy or anything. These headphones fit just perfect over my ears. They were over-the-ear headphones, um, but they felt really comfortable. And a big part of that was because of these tilted the headphone actual speaker pieces actually tilt and fit with like the size of your head and the shape of your head, so it fits on a more comfortable fit. I was actually pretty surprised on how well they stood up to a durability test as I bent them and twisted them as in an everyday person might and they held up perfectly. The sound quality on these headphones honestly weren't even that bad. Um, I could actually hear the really there was actually a pretty good bass and the highs and mids and lows were all there and it sounded perfectly great and I was actually really impressed. For the sound leakage at 50% volume. Um, it was not very noticeable at all. It was you could barely hear anything and that's about it, three feet away. At 75%, it started getting a little bit more noticeable, and at 100%, I, it was clearly here. Like I could hear it clearly from 10 feet away. I could hear the music clearly, the lyrics and everything. Um, so for the sound leakage, they don't keep as much sound in. Of course, they are headphones, and headphones put have bigger speakers, so that is something you kind of have to deal with with headphones. These headphones are charged via micro USB. There is not a brick included, so you can't, you have to use your own brick, but nowadays everybody has a smartphone, so you should have a brick from USB. But basically, it's just micro USB, USB plug into the wall, and when it charges, it has a red LED. But that's pretty much it for this tech review, guys. If you like this video and these headphones look pretty cool to you, be sure to leave a thumbs up and check out the link below. I will have a link to these headphones in the description below. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a ton. But thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Back, back, back from the dead.